Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of Voice of Radio. So today, we're going to be having a look at a new supporter card. It's Rosa. Now, we did get an image of Rosa uh, a few days ago, but it was way, way too blurry. Nobody could read it. Well, we still don't have a perfect version of Rosa. But we do have a version that we can read, and the lovely Antoine Boulet has decided to send me a translation because, as previously mentioned, not five seconds ago, he is, in fact, a lovely man. So what does it actually do? Well, it's another one of these that can only be played if your Pokémon was KO'd during your opponent's last turn. And it lets you search for a Pokémon, a trainer, and a basic energy card and put them into your hand. Well, that's pretty gosh darn good. That, that's a lot of search, ladies and gentlemen. Now, first things first, the translation we have from Antoine here says KO'd during your opponent's turn, not KO'd by an attack. And that's important. Now, in Expanded, we got stuff like Decidueye that can drop damage counters. But we've just had revealed from Dream League the new Coughing. Now, we've got Roxy, a supporter card that lets you discard two Pokemon from your hand and draw three cards for each Pokemon discarded. And then Coughing, if discarded from Roxy, does one damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So it is absolutely possible that at some point, Coughing will KO one of your Pokemon. And if Coughing KOs your Pokemon, that will activate Rosa. Whereas if it said buy damage from an attack, then it would not. So it is an important distinction which could be rather important. So with that little distinction out of the way, search for a Pokemon, search for a trainer, search for a basic energy card. And basically everything about this card is good. Now, in terms of searching for a Pokemon, we don't have good Pokemon search post-rotation. We really don't. We're losing Ultra Ball and we're losing Nest Ball. Now, there are some really specific ones we can get on board with. Netball for Grass Pokemon, Mysterious Treasure for either Dragon or Psychic-type Pokemon. And then there's Pokemon Communication, but that will swap a Pokemon in your hand for one in your deck. It will not create a Pokemon, not like something like Ultra Ball would. And now, of course, this is a supporter, and you're using your supporter to search for one Pokemon. And we've got supporter search, but even that's not amazing. Now, generally, you get free Pokemon, but Professor Al's lecture gets you free Pokemon with 60 HP or less. Pokemaniac gets you free Pokemon with a retreat cost of four. And Professor Oak's setting gets you free Pokemon that are basics and that are different types. And they go directly onto your bench, which is very important for uh, a, a Pokemon like Dedenne, for instance, that has a coming into play ability. If you play it straight onto your bench with Professor Oak setting, it doesn't activate. Point is, the Pokemon search we've got is bad. And even though this is a supporter, even in terms of supporter Pokemon search, it, there's nothing really a huge amount better. I mean, to put it into context, we had a, an item card a little while ago that let you search for any Pokemon without restriction. It was Master Ball. It was an A-Spec trainer card. Being able to search for any Pokemon whatsoever is A-Spec worthy. Yes, it's only one Pokemon, but please don't underestimate the value of being able to search for any Pokemon. Bearing in mind, Ultra Ball let you search for any Pokemon, and you had to discard two cards from your hand in order to use it. As Pokemon Search, yes, it's a supporter, yes, it's only one Pokemon, that's still pretty gosh darn good. Now, in terms of basic energy, this is again pretty good. Now, I'm going to stop saying it in a minute, because we can't just say it every two seconds throughout the video. Yes, this is a supporter. But the thing is, we're going to be comparing each of the free effects two other cards, many of which item, you've got to remember that you're doing all three of these things at once. So in terms of searching for a basic energy, we lost Professor's Letter a little while ago. But actually, even more than that, we lost Energy Search. Now, the good news is we do have Energy Spinner. 
An energy spinner does help. Energy spinner is basically energy search, I'll be honest with you. Let's you search for any one basic energy. Reveal it, put it into your hand. If you go second and it's your first turn, search for three basic energy cards. Now this only gets you one basic energy card regardless. And it is basically just an energy spinner. And if you just want to get the basic energy, yes, of course, energy spinner is better. But the fact is, this gets you that while getting your Pokemon and while getting yourself any trainer card as well. That That's pretty good. That is pretty gosh darn good, ladies and gentlemen. And just like Energy Spinner, I mean, the thing with Energy Spinner is, if you're just playing Lightning Energy, there's no point playing Energy Spinner. You might as well just play another Lightning Energy, unless you've got a way to search the Energy Spinner. Whereas here, you're already searching for a Pokemon and a, a trainer card. Why not get a little bit of this as well? You know, might as well, ladies and gentlemen. You might as well. And then, of course, you're grabbing yourself a trainer card. And our translation from Antoine is trainer card. Not item card. Trainer card. Which means you can get an item, think something like a custom catcher. But you could also get a supporter, think something like a Cynthia for next turn. But it could also be a stadium card, so you could get that Thunder Mountain Prism Star. It's up to you. It is trainer card, not item card. You can get anything. Being able to search out your stadium here is pretty gosh darn good. Now, we did get a card that lets you search out stadiums in Remix Bout. Well, Japan got it. We'll be getting it in our next set. But it was flip two coined, and for each head you search for a stadium and put it in your hand, it was, it was awkward, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, fine if you've got nothing else but really not something to get terribly excited about. Stadium Nav, if anybody's wondering, it wasn't actually in Remix Bout, I lied to you. It's going to be coming out in Unified Minds. It was in Miracle Twin over in Japan. So that's kind of cool. This just gets it for you. No flipping coins or any of that rubbish. This just gets it for you. That's pretty huge. And that's kind of my point here. Maybe you've got one custom catcher in hand and you search for a second and now you've got the gusting. Or maybe you just grab yourself a great catcher so that you can do the gusting. Or maybe you've got no supporter in hand so you use this to grab you one for next turn. The point is, looking at each of these three effects on its own doesn't do the card justice. The fact is, this can often just set you up for what you need. You get an energy to keep attacking, you get a Pokemon of any description that you like, and you end up getting yourself some kind of trainer card, which could be the thing that puts you to victory. I mean, imagine if you can combine this with Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Play Lieutenant Surge, you can play two more supporters. Play this to get a Pokemon, an energy, and a supporter. And because you've played Lieutenant Surge's strategy, you can play that supporter immediately. Look, you've all, well, anyone that was playing back in the Diamond and Pearl era, at this stage you're thinking, wait, isn't that a lot like Cyrus's Conspiracy? Yes. Yes, of course it is. It's not exactly like Cyrus's Conspiracy. Cyrus's Conspiracy got you a supporter, a basic energy, and a trainer card with Team Galactic's invention in its name. So it wasn't as wide-ranging. But then again, Cyrus didn't revolve around having a Pokemon KO the previous turn. Make no mistake about it, this is a phenomenal supporter. Now, it's a bit sad we're losing Tapu Lele, because this is the kind of supporter where you really want to play one or two of them and play it at the right time. This isn't a four of in the vast majority of decks. And there will be some decks that play it, especially decks that play weaker Pokemon. Maybe this could see playing something like a Granbull deck, where you are often getting Granbull KO turn after turn, but it's alright because you're only giving up one prize and you're recycling Granbull. That could work. But most of the time, this is going to be a one or two of play it when you need it. Cool. It's sad that we've lost Tapu Lele, but we've got a lot of consistency cards at the moment. You've always got Makargo if you're absolutely desperate. There is a Dragonite that can search out supporter cards, though it is a stage two. And it's not seeing a huge amount of play. Although the new Dragonite GX is awesome. 275 energy, discard free. I think that could see play, so maybe. 
Maybe. The point is, this is a phenomenal card. I'm giving it between four and five Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. It's not going to fit into every deck. And you have to have had a Pokemon KO the previous turn. It is a phenomenal card. But it is also quite an awkward card. Which is why I give it between four and five. But hey, maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, there's a comment section. And I would like you to go nuts. Though I would ask you to please be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, And Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support this channel get some bonus podcasts and all that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wasi plays where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.